So hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And in this video, we are going to continue where we left from in the last video. I actually got to know that last video was 40 minutes of length and the last 10 minutes of content was remaining where I completed the delete uh, user uh, handler for our program. And I don't know why this happened. This was due to some kind of error from the YouTube upload side or it might be due to my uh, video editor, but doesn't matter. We are going to continue the last video from here and you can go ahead and watch it right now. Internal server error in here, written, and then I will say w dot uh, right header and I will http dot status okay. And then I will have the same literal thing encoder. At this point, I am bored into this and then have encode and this in this encode I will have this map map where I will have this string and then I will have this string again for this map and I will say message and I will say user deleted perfect it has been deleted missing key value literal map string with the string uh, with the string and we have this uh, thing okay I haven't completed this I need a colon in here perfect it has been implemented now and now what I will do is uh, just let me get this lighting perfect now and what I'm going to do is uh, I'm just going to uh, keep it here and I'm going to execute it and I will just keep it uh, this way and uh, I will say docker dash compose okay just let me uh, I just remember now I just have to implement this uh, handle func into here because we don't want to miss that out http dot handle func again same thing explained in the last videos I will say slash users slash create and I will have create user I will have http dot handle handle func and I will have user slash uh, update I will have this in create sorry update user http dot handle func not handle func we just have to handle the func and say user slash delete I will have this in delete user and I will save this up and let me see if we don't have any kind of error and then we will I will say docker test compose a bit and now I will just go ahead and open this another terminal and I will just do an ls we'll just do a c and I will just say curl as users jq and again we have Aditya, Vic and Thomas in here and I will just check the logs and everything seems to be okay. It is accepting connections and working really fine. Uh, we have this thing in here. So now I'm going to do uh, the post request for HTTP slash slash local host and we have the port 8080. I will say users slash create. I will uh, like say uh, provide some headers in here and in that headers I will say uh, I hope that this is right. This is Okay, I will. What I will do is just to avoid some confusion, I will say uh, I will get this into uh, you know this single colon, and in this I will say dash h, and in this dash h I will again uh, uh, I will prefer saying that I have content type. I have explained why you need this application slash JSON just to specify the backend that okay this is a, a JSON request even if you don't provide it uh, there is no issue but it's a good practice to do that. D I will have uh, uh, this name is equal to let's say David. I will save it. I have this into here and now I do JQ. I have Aditya, Vic, Thomas and David at the fourth point. Again, uh, just for an example, I will show you. You can add like anybody like uh, you can add a name like let me search uh, Steve. And we have Steve in here and you can JQ and now you have Steve with you. Perfect. Now what I'm going to do is uh, let me just clear the screen for the sake of 
cleanliness and what I will do is uh, I will have uh, update the name of let's say Alice and I will name her Alice updated and uh, I need to provide the ID as I have specified the ID is one and the name should be Alice specified uh, I need to change this thing I need to put it in update and I need to uh, have this as a post request uh, not not post request as a put request as we have defined or else it will throw an error I will just do it and let's see what's the issue is uh, we have user slash update in here we have port 8080 dash x uh, localhost port 8080 and we are doing a slash users update and we have uh, id is equal to one uh, page not found okay I will just go ahead and uh, check what kind of issues happening in here I will open the main.go file I will go in here on update users uh, if you don't have the only put method is allowed I think there has to be an issue in the handlers part perfect I found the issue right here I need to put a slash in here I will build it again perfect I will go here and just do a JQ again and we have Steve David everyone here and now I want to update Alice and the user has been updated perfect this is how you debug and now we have ID 1 Alice has been updated right here perfect perfect now what I will do is uh, I will go ahead and do the last one I want to show you the example of delete and now I want to delete Alice from the database right here so what I will do is go back into here uh, I will say uh, I will delete this and I will have this delete in here and again I want this to be a delete request I will say okay I need to go back this is just an issue with my terminal which I'm facing this day, days and it should be a delete request de delete and perfect user slash delete uh, we are passing id1 and again it says the page is not found perfect again we have an issue in here so again i will uh, check it this is curl dash x uh, then we have 8080 we have uh, users then we have delete then we have applications like json so there is no issue in uh, whatever we are passing here we will go back try to debug what's happening in here and this is how the testing will go uh, again we have a spelling mistake here we need to have users in here again let's build it perfect now what what I can do is uh, I can go ahead and finally delete the user and the user has been deleted now we have JQ and user one is permanently deleted Alice Alice updated and this thing has been done I will just close this terminal and now you have a perfect uh, CRUD API which has been integrated with the Postgres SQL uh, this machine is now working slow because the whole OBS and every every thousands of tabs and now docker has been running under it so this is getting slow but now we have successfully implemented the whole thing right here uh, so what we did in this video is we this was a very long video for this uh, for this matter so what we did is we had a postgres sql and we connected it with our back go based backend uh, we had them strapped with uh, docker images and then we have connected them with uh, docker compose then we created all the crud parameters into here all the crud endpoints all the handlers we implemented and then we connected with each other now what you can do is uh, you can go ahead and create uh, docs for these APIs and everything. This is something that I'm going to explain you in upcoming videos. Uh, documentation is a really important part and I know that this video has ex exceeded a lot of time limit but that's perfect. You can watch this chunk by chunk and perfect. This has been done.